I haven't worn my old hoodie in a minute, man. I'm too fly. Too fly today. Oh, hold up with the jeans, though. Show y'all the whole fit. Let me stand on my chair. Let me stand on my... Let me, let me post up, man. Come on. What's up, world? This is my intro clip. What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today I have a part two of a video that I did recently was talking about Instagram. Basically the video I did prior to this one was about taking the pictures and actually like how my Instagram photos are taken, both iPhone digital and film pictures. So now I'm gonna talk about more of like how it's aesthetically organized my Instagram. This is like one of the more um, like parts that not a lot of people look at or like they kind of overlook. I know I'm kind of weird and OCD when it comes to stuff like this and a lot of people would be like, I even seen in the comments from before, damn, people take Instagram this seriously, how conceited are you, blah, blah, blah. I know, but at the end of the day, for me, it's kind of like a business um, social media at the end of the day. So having it presentable and just having like different people that you meet, instead of exchanging numbers, a lot of the time you're exchanging Instagram. So like, that's kind of like a business card, you know what I mean? So like having that as your first representation of yourself is pretty important, I find at least. So I'm just gonna dive into like how I kind of organize my Instagram and how you could plan posts, things of that nature. So I'm gonna dive into it right now. I'm gonna have a screen record up so that you guys could see what's going on. Okay, so basically how I organize everything. So now you guys have my Instagram page. Um, basically, this is, what it, this is what it looks like at the top. I've never been a super big fan of like having sets of three, but I kind of organized my feed in that fashion. It doesn't really follow sets of three, but to keep it organized in the layout that I prefer, I kind of plan my posts in threes and my posting schedule is uh, post a day, skip a day, post a day, skip a day when I have the three. Uh, so that way I have content for the whole week type of thing. If that's something that you want to try and do, you can definitely try and do that, but it's all really up to you and how you feel like posting your pictures. Honestly, you don't even really have to take it this serious. I just have like a routine that I follow and it, it works for me. So if it works for you, you could try it out too, but that's what I do. <laughs> post a day, skip a day, post a day, skip a day, and I make sure I have three pictures that I like queued up for the week. As far as the layout of it, what I find really helps is picking tones that complement each other, such as, for example, like six cubes, let's say, for example, the top, the, the middle two, both feature red. If I keep on going down, for example, um, scroll down, both featured de denim in the center. There's like subtle things here and there, or like I'll have one shoot that is all from the same shoot if I liked all pictures from that shoot. Um, for example, these pictures that Wasim took, they're all, they were all dope. They were just all in the same location. They all had like featured that brick in the background. So I made sure that was kind of like in a set of three, but it's very rare that I do stuff like that. Um, mainly I try to just keep it organized within like the columns or like kind of by row um so for example right below that i both like i featured the the yellow a uh, italian new regime track jacket both in a center row type of thing uh i try to have like also another thing so that it doesn't look too weird on your instagram because i know it could get very saturated this even goes for females too because i know this is like something that um happens a lot when i see out at feeds and stuff like that it kind of irks me or it takes me the wrong way but this is purely opinionated i don't like too many pictures of myself although that could be like a big ass contrast right now because i have been posting a lot of myself but i like mixing it in with like either a thing or like a subject um it doesn't really have to be of you per se um i like mixing it in like with like just like it could be a layout like for example when i was in new york i took a picture of like the who is jacob glasses, uh, my rings, and my vlog camera on a Hermes, on a Hermes um, ashtray, like stuff like that. I, I prefer seeing stuff like that in a feed just because it breaks it up. You don't want to look super conceited on Instagram. Just have like selfie, 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 picture of myself, alpha picture, alpha, 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 you know what I mean? So that kind of gets repetitive. So breaking it up with like, I don't know, detail pics or like um, pictures of just an article, article of clothing or Anything that's just other than just yourself, I find it could look way better on an Instagram feed rather than just pictures of yourself all the time. Another thing for me or for people that do um, certain releases and you don't want to have a separate brand account for your Instagram, what I pl uh, plan on doing, like what I normally do 
is I'll keep the product photo on the middle just because it looks better, uh, in my opinion. Um, for example, when I released the, the track pants last year, um, I'll have those in the middle just because it has an all white background, it looks nice. Um, so it's centered. So I'll have a picture of whatever I was posting, the pants in the middle because it's clean, and then I'll have um, the picture of me wearing the pants or the model wearing the pants. Um, I find it's a good way of breaking it up. I find it looks really, really nice. So if that works for you, you could definitely try it out as well. Another main thing, <coughs> main thing that I just got into as far as planning posts that I could go back to is getting this app. I'm not sponsored by this app, by the way. It's just that my um, a lot of people that I'm close to use it and I got put onto it. So I started using it as soon as I got put onto it. It's called Preview. Um, if you type in Preview on Instagram, I'm sure it'll pop up. Um, but yeah, it looks like this. I don't even know if I'm going to be posting those pictures at the top. So you guys are kind of getting it like a sneak peek or whatever. I'm just, I was just testing things out. But anyway, you guys can see basically it's my Instagram feed and how I have it laid out. The best thing about this is, is that you could add um, photos from your photo gallery. So like you just go to library, you can add them in. And I normally just have like a white background from uh, Google and I just put it in so I could fill in the blocks as I do please. Um, just so that it has like a full row, you know what I mean? So I have a picture and then I'll fill it in with the white blocks. Just if it's um, a section that I don't know what picture I'm gonna put in yet or I don't have a picture to fill in with it yet. Just so I could try and plan out so that everything looks spot on and on point. I find this is the, I find this is the best app to do so so yeah and that's kind of how i go about it i don't really overthink it too too much i just make sure that the tones complement each other and then there's not too many pictures of myself um i like to break it up with like i said detail pics or like just the pictures of like the clothing stuff like that um just to make sure it has some character to it and it has some like actual depth and yeah just has more depth than just pictures of yourself because there's more to life than just yourself you know what i mean so yeah Thank you guys for stopping by on the channel once again. Hope this was helpful for you guys in any type of way. Um, that's just kind of how I organize my Instagram and make sure the aesthetics is on point. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it once again. Thank you for stopping by on the channel. Really appreciate it. More videos on the way as usual. Um, make sure to go follow me on my Instagram. G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E -E is my Instagram. So make sure to go follow me on there. And that being said, I'm out. Take care. Peace. All white, Tito S, that's Monte Carlo And I got 90 racks stacked at the condo And I rock off white sneakers like Aldo Police with me over, I told them I don't know Black and white tuxedo, look like piano Yellow bone, live on a 9 by commercial Hope you don't run on my 9, gon' hurt